It's no secret that I am quite skeptical when it comes to celebrity beauty brands. Whether it's skincare or beauty or hair care, I think a lot of us are quite exhausted by them. There's so many now and a lot of the times it's just, you can kind of tell the, the celebrity doesn't really care they're just kind of putting their face to a brand name and it's not always the case there's some really amazing celebrity beauty brands but i feel like usually i wait a while to try a brand to see if the hype is genuinely about the products and not about the celebrity so that's why i've only recently semi-recently in the past couple of months tried road skincare and let me tell you believe the hype now i'm going to do a little mini review i pretty much have the whole collection some things i like more than others but everything i would say is good quality i have sensitive skin kind of normal but i do get hormonal breakouts you can kind of see obviously i've got makeup on at the moment but the whole line is cruelty free and vegan and it's very much a capsule line by hayley bieber and i'm not gonna lie to you this is quite unbiased because i have no opinion I have no opinion. I don't have a negative opinion, but I don't, I don't have either opinion on the founder. So you know what? If it's good, they're good products. The product should speak for themselves. And this little buddy, which I'm pretty sure is the latest product in the collection, this is the Glazing Milk. It's the Ceramide Facial Essence. It is beautiful. It's like a milky lotion, but it doesn't have any scent to it. I think the whole line is fragrance free, apart from there are lip balms, which are unscented or you can get scented versions of them. I love that everything's fragrance free because my skin doesn't really love fragrance typically. Sometimes it can tolerate it but it's just nicer I think to have no fragrance to be honest. But actually one of my favorite things about the whole line is you can layer you can layer like if you're not wearing makeup and you are maybe you're like working from home and you apply your skincare in the morning but then you want to top it up maybe like mid-afternoon before you do your evening skincare routine these guys layer up so well and if you're going to get anything from the whole collection I really recommend these two because they're just they're unique but effective you know they're not gimmicky at all so the glazing milk and the peptide glazing fluid are my two absolute favorites i've ordered multiples of these it's kind of annoying that you can't get them in store in the uk but hopefully at some stage you will be able to this as a prep stage morning afternoon evening bus club another club it's just the best and when i say you can layer up you can layer and it doesn't pill it doesn't feel heavy it's lightweight it's very ceramide -y. i think ceramides and peptides are like the perfect way to describe the capsule skincare line it doesn't necessarily have to my knowledge like loads of active it's not like vitamin c and retinol and all those kind of actives that you get visible visible you know like maybe for hyperpigmentation you get reduction in that it's not that kind of skincare line i feel like it's more of a basics covered and then and you can kind of complement it with maybe like a retinol serum and a you know vitamin c serum or whatever it is you want to use to kind of target problem areas whereas all of this is just kind of very nourishing so anyway highly recommend the glazing milk the glazing fluid this is unique now let me start with a con i do not like this packaging i feel like you don't actually get very much for your money this is 29 pounds and it's pretty small like most of it is the cap and the pump is a bit of a pain in the arse it's not the best packaging i just on this everything else i don't mind but this packaging don't love um but i'm pretty sure it's part post-consumer waste packaging so maybe that's why it's a little bit clunky it is such an interesting hydrating serum I, when i felt the consistency of this it was a not what i expected and b i didn't think i was gonna like it when i tried it because i like more of a typical kind of clear almost like slimy hyaluronic acid serum and i still like those but this this is interesting because it's almost like a thin lotion see the pump is a pain in the arse it shoots out as well so you can't control if you want half a pump you ain't getting it can you see it's just sort of like a clear lotion you know but it's got a creamy look to it it's very intriguing i don't i don't know i don't know what's in this but i'm guessing peptides because that's what's in the name it's a glaze the name glaze it, it really is and i know like sometimes it's like glaze nails glaze skin glazed hair glaze this glaze that and it, it gets a little bit gimmicky but glazed is a, the word to describe this it gives you a glaze and it works well with makeup it I, I like you can pat it over makeup i think it's worth experimenting it won't work with all powdery products but yeah it does work with certain makeup products i really really love it these two mwah, bellissimo 10 out of 10 100 out of 10 will repurchase over and over and over and over even though i don't like the packaging and then the last kind of product in their skincare line at the moment is this bad boy and this is their barrier restore cream which is a beautiful basic moisturizer i don't use the word basic as an insult by the way i use it as a it's not it's not chucked full of fragrance and kind of thing unnecessary things it's just it's just basic it does the job it's really really lovely i love i love that it's not too thick that it feels heavy it's not greasy at all but it's not too lightweight that it, i feel like my skin needs more it works beautifully it doesn't seem to pill on me at all no matter how much i put on i would say you could probably out of all of them 
I would say this one maybe you could find a dupe for, but these two I haven't found anything similar to. I really, really like this and I would definitely repurchase it. It's a lovely basic face cream and rich, but not too heavy. And then last but not least, I have their lip product. So I don't have all the shades of the lip tint because the brownie kind of colors are not really for me, but I've got raspberry jelly and I've also got ribbon. Here I have the clear one. This is vanilla, which I'll, I'll come on to in a moment. So I like these. I personally, I'm very, very picky when it comes to lip balms and there are lots of vegan lip balms out there that I hate. These I like, I don't necessarily love. I actually prefer, let me grab it. If we're talking about a similar price point kind of lip balm, I prefer the Naturium Phyto Glow lip balm. This one is more glossy. This one is more of a kind of Vaseline balm. And I just, I like a glossy lip. Some people don't like that feeling on their lips. It's not sticky at all, this one. You don't get much for your money, but then neither do you with these. There's actually not a lot of product for your money. And yeah, I just feel like I'm like head over heels for the skincare products. The lip products are just so fine. Nothing really to write home about. I like ribbon I think the best this one I went absolutely ham for at Halloween and it was a bit of a mess but in a, it was an intentional mess because I used it as fake blood which I'll insert a picture here when the clear lip treat first launched I do remember seeing on socials people saying that their lip balm feels quite gritty and I remember people said that it's because of the butters in it the shea butters in it can solidify or like certain oils solidify at colder temperatures and you can feel a bit of grittiness but it melts it's, it's not it's not a huge deal it's not the most smooth of lip products ever but yeah the grittiness i thought well, that sounds horrible that sounds like you've got sand on your lips but it doesn't feel like that at all but yes ribbon is more of a subtle pink and then raspberry jelly is more of a quite a rich vampy purpley burgundy it's pretty it's pretty and then last but not least i was really excited about this again i'm a lip balm fiend i love lip balms and this is the vanilla frosting or vanilla flavor and i've seen people say that it, it smells like birthday cake and it does not smell like birthday cake it smells like an incredibly synthetic vanilla like it reminds me of two things this lip balm which is by bondi sands is the sweet sweet vanilla spf 50 lip product which is so synthetic and sunscreen tasting that I can't use it. I don't like it, but it's five pound as opposed to 16 pound or however much these are. And it also reminds me of the very cheap Ikea vanilla candles, which don't get me wrong, I don't mind those candles for the price, they're fine, but they smell very synthetic. It's not a, it's not a sophisticated blend. And this, you can taste it on your lips. It is just, I don't get why people are raving about this flavor. I wish I got the strawberry one. I wonder if that was any better, but I think it's sold out now. And in any case, I have lip balms that I prefer. Oh, that tastes so synthetic it tastes like sweetener and synthetic fragrance that's what this tastes like but i think i prefer the consistency of the lip tints to the lip treat even though they're pretty much the same something about these i prefer but yes these i would say six out of ten they're fine they, they're not bad they're okay i won't be repurchasing but the rest of the line oh brother you've got a fan in me i can't wait for whatever they're gonna bring out next i love that they've kept it simple and like tried to nail the basics as opposed to bringing out a massive complicated skincare line i think it's incredibly clever marketing wise i think it makes it easy for people to understand i'm super 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 impressed and it's not that i wasn't i didn't think they were gonna be good but i just didn't really know what to think i didn't know what i was gonna think and i'm, I'm absolutely blown away by the quality of these and i love that they're leaping bunny approved as well vegan and cruelty free so yes that is my little mini review i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see some more from me i post vegan and cruelty free beauty bits and some other lifestyle things so follow me on my socials if you fancy and i will hopefully see you very soon bye